So recently I've noticed a problem online and it may be a problem that you're suffering from. You see, there's a group of fans out there that are just done with the sport of NASCAR. They're tired of seeing the drivers, the races, the commentators. Honestly, if they see Hellman's slapped on the side of a car and a number on it, it just makes their stomach sour. So I decided why not make a video and help those people and show them how easy it is to give up the sport of NASCAR. So first off, what do you do if you're just flipping through the channels on your TV and NASCAR pops up? Well, what's really cool about the remote is that it has these buttons that you can change the channel. Uh, you can also manually go one by one and go up or down with the channel button uh, as well as an off button. Next up, social media. What do you do if you're just on your phone scrolling through and just day after day, NASCAR is popping up? Well, what's cool is if you're on Instagram, you can unfollow them. If you're on Facebook, you can unlike them. If you're on YouTube, you can unsubscribe to them. Uh, this way you won't have to respond to whatever they post because we all know that if you're on social media, you have to comment on every single thing that you see you don't like. So now, what happens if you show up at a racetrack and as you're about to pay, you notice that it's NASCAR that is racing at that oval that weekend? Well, this one's pretty simple. You just make sure that you do not pay money for that ticket, you know, because what happens is, is you pay that money, you go sit down in your seat with your chili dog, and now five hours later, you realize that NASCAR has been in front of you. And so at this point, you may be asking yourself, well, if I give up NASCAR, is there anything else in the world that I could do? And yeah, the, the answer is yeah. Uh, you know, you can go see your family, go hang out with some friends, go ride a bicycle, go lay down some hardwood floor in your house, put in a new ceiling fan, go get a water bed, maybe make a bed for water, maybe water your bed. I, I don't know, I'm not an expert when it comes to agriculture. So now I understand this video has poked a little bit of fun at some people, but I think the message is true. It all comes down to why choose to be upset. If NASCAR does not bring you the joy or whatever that it used to bring, why sit down and spend three hours watching something you hate? Why go on Facebook and comment and talk about how you can't stand what you're seeing even though five years ago you told all of your friends and followers that you hate the sport and you're never going to watch another race. Because from my perspective, I just think, why are you still here? Like, why are you still being the person in the background that's yelling? You're not going to look back on life and think, man, I'm glad that I wrote all that hateful stuff on Facebook. You're just not. So that's my two cents. Hope you enjoyed this video.